Chasing our uh, barbecue man here. How are you going, man? The night's nearly over. How do you think it went? Dude, I am overjoyed with the success of SCB. Excellent, excellent. You said that pretty well. I can't even see that. I'll say that myself. I can't see it because it's So the barbecue, you know? Dude. You got stuck with that job earlier on. I nominated myself. You nominated myself. Don't lie. You said you weren't too enthusiastic about doing it. I hate barbecue. You said Tom Furo was an asshole for making you do it. He is, though. Yeah, we've got that on Hey, Tom! Did you happen to sell all the sausages? No, no, we got 24 back, by the way. Still? So why are you cooking them up? You're not doing your job of selling them. Dude, it's always going on the website. This is not going on the website, this is going on the World Wide Web. This will be on menwhorapegoats.com. That's an Australian site. That is correct. And I'm uh, a little lost for words at the moment because you're kind of freaking me the fuck out. Here we are with a secondary interview with our Basta. He was one of our local cameramen earlier on in the night. How do you think it went overall? Give me a rating out of 10. <laughs> um, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Why do you think only eight and a half? Not enough cars, not enough damage, not enough girls. All of the above. Not very enthusiastic. A bit yeah. tired? Yeah. You had your warm milk ready to go to bed? Yeah. No worries, we might leave it at that then. Welcome to SG Foreign TV. Zach, how do you think the night's going so far? Did you say SG Foreign TV? Correct, I did. Did you not know about it? No. You are the administrator and you did not know about the TV channel that it is producing. Oh, okay. It feels like an interview. It is. I mean, an interrogation. You know? Not quite. We'll let you skip because people are getting pissed off. How do you think the night's going? Rocking out, motherfucker! Abby, you seem overexcited for some reason. My shit actually runs at the moment. Excellent. Good to hear, mate. We'll let you get back to it. We heard you had a little bit of trouble uh, getting here. Pulled over by the police. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's correct. Yeah, it's always your registration stickers. Good news, kids. Uh, you heard it here first. Uh, we won't tell them about the skit to leave away from the cops, though. We'll leave you to it. <laughs> With our barbecue man once again. Situation on the girls. Yes. What what do you think? Do you think there's plenty here? Not enough? Dude. Not enough with quality? There's not enough. Not enough with three feet? Not enough with JB. Get like a cheer squad for Will, maybe. For Will? Give me a W. Give me a W. Give me an I. I've had enough of this. You saw it here on To Catch a Predator. <laughs> Welcome to our SG Forum TV. How do you feel about that night? It's good. We're actually come over here because our resident barbecue man is, has a keen eye for you, so he just thought he sent us over to uh, give you a bit of a hey, how you doing? And he's interested if you're available. No, no. You're not available? Is that because you don't like him? No. You heard it here first. We're, we're sorry, our resident barbecue man. She is taken. How old are you, by the way? She's 17, so she is a little old for you. We'll leave it at that. We're just going to catch up with Will one more time because we only got a short interview with him in the car. So we'll see what he has to say. He seems to be talking about tyres to a, another guy. No, we don't want to interrupt. We'll just wait. Carry on. No, seriously, fuck off, guys. We only caught up with you uh, for a little while in the car. You're only able to tell us that you know you were headbanging to some. Rock Iron Maiden. Iron, Iron Maiden, Maiden in the car. So I uh, didn't couldn't identify it there. About eight and a half I think you gave the night. Oh yeah. That would be an easy eight and a half actually. Yeah. I think I may just, just made that number up, but we'll stick with that. What do you think could have went better? Well, if I had have actually um, taken the time to pull Matt stick out of his car and put it in mine, I wouldn't have had the uh, single wheel spinning issue. Did someone ask you out that said gif? No, I never saw anything along those lines. I heard, heard some swearing and some screaming from underneath the car at one stage in the evening and I uh, just passed it off. That's the, uh, the, the front dip you're talking about, is it? Yeah, the front dip, yeah, yeah. System. Okay, no worries. If uh, you were to change one other thing, what would it be? I'd probably take now, back a couple of months, so that we had more daylight. Because when my shit breaks, I need the daylight to sort of help me. Excellent. Now, we know you're skidding in your, your daily car. Um, give him a quick look at, at the daily car. Give 
also got another car. Tell us, tell us what's the story with that. We're, we're about to that at the moment. It's currently hiding in the long grass. The long grass of Mount Tambourine. We've been trying to track it down for the last couple of months, but it seems to be quite elusive species. Some of those, some of those little species are bloody hard to track down. And that is very. Correct. And when you do get a hold of them, they uh, they hang up on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. They answer. Sometimes. This is SG Forum TV. I've got nothing. Else. That's my side. Mr. Pinko himself, welcome to SG Forum TV. You had your hands dirty all night for the last three days. Three nights. How many hours sleep do you reckon you've had in the last three days? Last four days, I've had four hours. Four hours. Tell the people why that is. Tom Pio's Say that name again, say that name again. Tom Oh, I like the way you do that. Lisa. What do you think of the night now? Uh, loves it. Why do they give you the name Pinko? I dyed my hair red one year and played pink. <laughs> I heard it was something to do with pink eye. No, man. No? No, pink eye. Okay, we'll go with the pink hair then. No, that's not Jaws. I don't know how Jaws go. I haven't watched that for like five fucking years. We're going to interview you because you're like one of three girls at a track night. How do you think the night's going so far? Okay, enough about the cars. How do you feel about being only one of three girls? Actually, one of two. One is a hermaphrodite, so we can't include that. Well, special? You feel special. Are you three girls here? So you know. Do you get the feeling that every guy here is hurting on you? Not really. You should. Well, I've got my bodyguard right Give him a look at the bodyguard. This guy is actually six foot one. No, four. Oh. Six foot four, so I'm not good with sizes. Eight inches is eight inches. I'm out of questions. Fuck. Is she making you shy? She is. Good looking girl. One of only three, <laughs> one of only two at the track. One being from that guy, which we are yet to do. Just have to wait for the noise. I can't even hear myself, man. Thank you, Scotty, and uh, that's all we have time for, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank all the boys there at Money Pit Motorsport and Superglory for the fantastic video. Coming up next week, ladies and gentlemen, uh, two internet pedophiles arrested for downloading too much jam B. Thank you.